Hello and welcome. My name is Natalie Guest and I'm the Director of eMerge Experience. And today we're going to be discussing what makes social branding and social media a visual component for you and your business. So today's agenda, we're going to be discussing images and social media and online engagement, how they affect your engagement online, some different tips for using images with your social media and online marketing, and how we make it so easy for you at eMERGE to be able to manage all of those components very, very easily and save you time. So when it comes to social media images, it's really about the ability of providing visually stimulating content in an increasingly visual online environment. Think about the last time that you were online, whether it was social media, maybe your Facebook page or Twitter page, maybe Pinterest, or even if you were checking your email, you know, think about the things that you actually spent more time investigating and looking and picking through. You know, was it the text? Were you sitting there reading all the text? Or was it that visual component and the bright colors? Or maybe it's just something that you related to visually in an image that made you really sit there and look at it or read it. So, you know, that's what it's all about. It's all about increasing that visual online environment. And we're going to talk about how you do that through imagery. So it makes them important, you know, whether it's informative or promotional, or maybe you're just doing it to be visual and, and decorative. They are essentially an extension of your online brand. So people may not actually be reading your emails or your social pushes, but there's a great chance that they are looking at them. That makes it important to convey your message without solely relying on text. You want to make sure that you have a good balance of your text versus images, so that way you're compelling to both of the groups, you know, the people who really like to read or the people that really like to look at visuals and the imagery. So make sure that there is a good, um, you know, balance between that, and you want it to be an extension of your brand, so it has, you know, that it has to do with, some, with your business or it's relating to the text that you're putting out to for your business. And th also think about, you know, industry experts or other companies that you follow that maybe relate to your business or that you find maybe inspirational or motivational, you know, you also can share those images. So just think about that when you're moving forward and, and doing all of your, your visual um, pieces of imagery for all of your social channels. How they affect your online marketing efforts. So really, you know, they act as a visual extension of your brand as we were just discussing. You know, you can really convey what it is that you do, what you offer, and your whole visual brand through imagery, through all your social channels and online marketing efforts. It really does provide more visually stimulating content. It increases overall engagement from fans. Definitely makes you memorable. It provides tangible content for the fans to experience. And by tangible, what that basically means is that the fans can interact and experience the visual content, not just read it. And, you know, having that tangible piece of content that they can share. So, again, as I mentioned before, you know, imagery is shared a lot, whether it's motivational or inspirational. They like the image or maybe they like what's on the image and the content. You know, it's tangible for them that they can actually reuse that or share your content for you. It definitely opens up new ways for fans to interact with you in every capacity. Here are some stats for you that you may want to jot down or, or just kind of store in your memory. Photo posts attract 104% more comments than an average post. Photos on Facebook pages receive about a 53% more likes than the average post. Tweets with photos and URL links saw a 120% increase in engagement and 350% more clicks from followers. So those are large percentage increases and engagement increases based on having imagery associated through their social posts, through their emails. So those are definitely things that you want to keep in mind in your next, you know, in your next campaign or you know, the next thing that you're working on for your marketing efforts. How do your images represent your brand? You know, again, it is really important to understand that images are for representing your brand are just as important for representing your brand, I'm sorry, than that um, I always want to make sure that you're, you're using images to build and not hurt your bottom line. You know, you really want to make sure that you think before you post or share images. It's perfectly acceptable, you know, to have some personality or reflect your personality. 
and implement that into your social media pushes and your, your, your emails through imagery. However, but there, there's that fine line um, between having that personality incorporated in your business page and then that fine line of business professionalism. So just keep that in mind, you know, before you hit the share button and post it or before you go ahead and upload an image or a graphic, um, you know, take a step back and, and just make sure that, you know, it's not offensive or, you know, that it, it kind of shows your personality and it can be humorous, but again, non-offensive. And, you know, taking, it might sound like it's common sense, but I'm sure you've seen things that people have pushed out or shared and you're thinking, what in the world were they thinking on sharing that? You know, and maybe you agree with what they posted. However, it's not something you would have posted on behalf of your business. So again, I know it might sound like it's self-explanatory or common sense, but really think about before you share a photo, upload a photo, um, whether it's through your social channels or your email campaigns, you are representing your brand and everything that you put out there. So you want to make sure that you know you're not you're not stepping over that fine line. Now we're going to get into some tips for using images. So a few things you should know. You know, images are, again, as we've discussed, a very important part of a successful online communication campaign strategy. You know, simply follow these best practices and you'll be sure to find the middle ground between images that really enhance your online performance and images that create email deliverability and performance issues through your social media campaigns. So let's go ahead and start with tip number one, using your images to engage. So images and graphics play an important role in selling your brand. We all know that, right? You know, think about the different organizations or businesses that you work for. If you're in real estate, think about the big impact it actually makes if you actually put out there of a listing and you put the price, the specs, um, you know, the features, the amenities, you post that by itself, or if you actually post a picture of the listing with all that information, you're certainly going to get more engagement out of having a, a photo or a picture of the listing versus just the text. You know, it's that visual component. You know, people might like what it looks like on paper, but they want to see it. So um, same thing with online brand or an online communication. They want to see it, not just read it. So including images in your social channels will help you sell more. In an increasingly visual online market, your images play a vital role in boosting internet or interest and engagement within your social channels. So again, just think about that when you're going to post. You know, think about the things that you want to post and think about what imagery you could associate with the social push that you're going to put out. Have fun with your images. Showing a fun side to your brand can make your brand more human and approachable. So again, it's perfectly acceptable to add personality in it, whatever it is that you're, you're putting out there. You know, make people laugh. You never know, your post might brighten someone's day. You know, it could make them want to come back or keep coming back to your page to see what you're going to post next. You know, even share um, your content, and even share your content, I'm sorry, driving more traffic to you. So again, you know, putting motivational or inspirational or funny photos, when you, when you share humor like that and people become engaged, it's more and more likely they're going to be looking for it. And so if they don't see it in their feed, they're going to go to your page and they're going to try and see what it was that you posted because it's important to them and they look forward to it. So if you can build that type of following and that type of um, information and people who are coming back for more and more, you're certainly on the right track and they're certainly going to share that with their following. Number three, try mixing up your images. So again, there is no best style of images for your social media posts. Every person and every business is going to experience something different. We see it over and over and over again. We certainly know what the best practices say to do, and we follow those um, as best as we possibly can. However, every business is going to experience something different because your following is different than someone else's following. The people I'm friends with on Facebook or who like my page are going to be the different type of people that follow you on Facebook and like your page. So it's really important to mix it up. Mix up what your images are saying and give yourself some variety. And one of the tips we're going to go over is tracking. So, I mean, having those different mixed up images are really going to help you. You know, it's going to allow you to use an exciting mix of professional and in-house photos or even self-created or shareable memes. These can be used for any number and um, any variety of types of messages that you're going to put out there for you and your business. Number four, include links. 
including links and posts, help gauge what people want. You can try to um, cross-promote maybe your Facebook page onto your LinkedIn or Twitter accounts, again, using the imagery of the icons or sharing your profile picture. You can try doing on um, LinkedIn your Twitter and vice versa, mix it up. You can also drive people with links to um, join your email list, maybe get them to engage that way. But images will prompt more engagement in readers, so it's good if you turn your images into even more actionable items by linking them like I just mentioned. So hyperlinking those images to where you want them to go. Linking to your other online presence will not only work in driving traffic, but also open up your fans to engage in other channels and help spread your brand presence onto their other channels. Again, just driving the higher network and higher eyes, number of eyes that are actually on your brand and on your business, which essentially is going to lead to more sales. You know, they do say that five years from now, people will still be recognizing return on investment on social media efforts that they perform today. So just think about that. You know, nothing's immediate in this world, right? I mean, we all want that fast, quick money, that fast, quick dollar, that fast, quick result. But really, it takes time and effort to really build a following. And again, as, as stats show, you know, five years from now, what you do in your social media presence and for your business today is going to reflect that in five years. Number five, don't forget people. If you thought your last post was engaging, try sharing some images. Posting images of clients, contest winners, staff, community events, and other people-focused posts can generate a huge amount of engagement. It makes your brand seem more personable and human. Plus, the friends of those people in the post will much more likely to be to share those onto their own channels but just because they know someone in the picture. So think about your business and your clients and how you can actually take pictures of them. You know, again, if you're in real estate, you just sold a home to someone, you're going to be with them at the closing, you're most likely going to stop by their house, see how they're doing, take a picture of them in front of their house or in their house being cozy or, I mean, anything like that, a picture of them at the closing and share that on your social channels to A, highlight them and B, highlight yourself that you're actually doing business and you're at a closing. Think about networking events that you attend. You know, how can you incorporate that? Because you have this great referral network that's going to help you either A, be a resource for your clients because you know more people in the community, or B, help you get more sales because you're in front of more people. And showing the community that you are involved in the community and out there at these networking events is going to boost your engagement and boost um, people's interaction and engagement with you. Number six, I said it before, so here it is. After you send it, monitor it. Watch the engagement your posts get through your social reporting. See which images are working and which ones aren't. A program such as eMERGE will allow you to monitor instant email reports so that you can see which images and call to actions are being engaged with by your readers. We actually pull all of these reports inside of your eMERGE account for you to easily access and review to see what's working for you, what's not working for you. What I would like to do is I actually have logged into my Facebook um, profile and I'm on one of the pages that I manage, but I just want to show you guys how you can access those insights um, if you don't currently have an eMERGE account. If you have an eMERGE account, it's under your social reporting. But if you come right into your social channels, um, and Facebook has the best metrics and insights, um, you may see you know, you come to your page and you don't see any of that information. All you have to do is click on the show button on the far right hand side. It's going to drop down all of that insight information in your admin panel. Insights is kind of right here in the center. What you're going to do is you're going to click see all. It's going to give you an overview, you know, total number of likes if you're up or down and then a percentage. People talking about it, up or down and percentage. Weekly total reach. So again, number of users up or down and percentage. If you scroll down just a little bit further, it's going to show you all your posts, the date that you posted, what you posted, the number of people it reached, engaged users, people talking about it, and then the virality. So in just looking at this, I see two posts that stand out to me right away that I'm like, okay, I seem to be getting good engagement in all of this. 
but what is it that's working best for me? Okay, so this was actually a video that they, they posted of an obstacle course. So then users could see what an average obstacle course at this CrossFit facility looks like. People are going to watch it. They're going to share it, right? This other one is going to be, um, it's a quote. And it's kind of funny because this is a workout and it says, you can't expect to look like a million bucks if you eat from the dollar menu. So again, a lot of engagement, engaged users, people talking about it, and then the virality. The virality actually means, and just so that you know, if you arrow over the questions, little question marks, it'll actually give you um, a rundown of what that means. So virality is the percentage of people who have created a story from your post out of the total number of unique people who have seen it. So if you click on virality to show your post, it'll actually reorder them from the highest to least. So what's getting you the highest virality to the lowest virality? And that might actually be you know, a quick look for you to say, okay, well, this image really got me a lot of, a lot of engagement. This image got me a lot of engagement. Well, let me scroll down and see what didn't get a lot of engagement. You know, promoting a product that they sell, not a lot of engagement. People aren't interested in that. People are interested in motivational quotes, what's going to motivate them to get out there and work out, what's going to motivate them to not order off the dollar menu, what's going to get them to go in there and, and you know, basically do the right thing for themselves and for their body. All right, so let me back go back to the presentation here. Just wanted to show you guys where you can access some of those reports and how you look at them and what's going to really show you what's getting you the right engagement for you and your business. So who is feeling a bit overwhelmed? I hope not. I hope that this is a very, you know, informational, um, nice resource for you to see how you can incorporate images into your business um, through your social media and your email campaigns. At eMerge, we make it so easy for you guys. You know, we have the whole platform where you connect all your social channels, and when, with one easy click, you can actually upload your photos, your copy, your links, and have it post to all your social channels at one time. You can even schedule it up to a year in advance. So if you want to sit down once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, and pre-plan what your social pushes are going to look like, that's going to help you save, save a lot of time. And then you, the next month, all you have to do is look at that engagement report and see what worked for you, what didn't, and change it up. Or if it's working great, continue with it. We help set up visual online brand presence. So we make sure that we're promoting you through all the visual components of your branding to make sure that it's reflective of A, your business, and B, your personality. So we help you know create that for you and get that in line, and then you can move forward and either take it from there, or we have different campaigns that you can actually opt into. Um, to help you with your business and, and your social media and engagement. So at this time, I'd like to see if there's any questions. If you would like to type in a question at any time, um, I can, you know, answer any questions for you. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up if you'll type in your questions. And if I don't hear from anyone, I will move on to the next slide. All right, so we do have one question. The question is, is through eMERGE, they were asking, um, and some of you may or may not be aware of this, but on Facebook, so I'm back up for a second. On Facebook, if you drop a link onto the Facebook page, Facebook will actually scrape that website and pull images up. And then you can just arrow through and decide which image you would like to associate with that post. So think about, you know, if you have listings on your website, and you copy that link and you post it on Facebook, but it pulls the wrong image. You should be able to arrow over and choose the image that is appropriate for that post or that listing. In eMerge, we offer the same exact thing. So with eMerge, you can type your message. You can type or paste a link. And eMerge will actually scrape that website and pull the images that we have access to, just like Facebook, and you can arrow through and choose the image you want to associate with that post. The other really cool thing is with eMerge, you can actually upload. If you don't want to use an image from your website, you can actually in the moment upload a new image to associate with that post, or you can even select no image. So it's completely up to you. We give you lots of different options and um, possibilities. Great question. Does anybody else have any other questions? Okay, I don't see any. Um, 
If you have any questions that maybe didn't get answered, um, you can certainly reach me. Um, but for some more resources, you can download the corresponding white paper from our email follow-up that we're going to do. You may also check out our eMERGE blog at blog.easyemerge.com. Visit our website and then find us on our social channels below. And all of these are facebook.com forward slash easyemerge, twitter.com forward slash easyemerge, and so on and so forth. Again, thank you so much for coming and joining us today on seeing how you can incorporate social images for your social engagement. Again, if you would like to learn more about what it is that we offer, please feel free to contact us at Get Started at EasyEmerge.com. We can have a, a sales rep and marketing specialist reach out to you um, to get you started or share information. And if you have any questions that didn't get answered on this webinar or you'd like to a more in-depth um, you know, question that you'd like to get into that maybe wasn't covered, please feel free to email me at webinars at easyemerge.com as well. We certainly look forward to seeing you on our next webinar and hope you guys have a fantastic day.